Hey guys, it's Jaylon. I'm back. I am here to do my melting basket for February, or at least the continuation of my melting basket for February. And I am going to do, or this video is going to focus on the bedroom, the bathrooms, few things I pulled for the laundry room, and then the kitchen. So that's what I'm going to focus on today. So I know my last video was probably a little bit long, so I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so for the bedroom, I'm gonna start again like I did last time with Scentsy Bars. So this is Luna and this is Jasmine Sweet Pea and Freesia Juicy Berry Sandalwood Shimmer Like Moonlight. This is a beautiful scent. Oh my god. The next one is Vanilla Oud. Sweet Vanilla Grounded by Leather and Earthy Oud Wood. I do like this bar. Okay, so the next one is, or the next two actually, this one only has four cubes in it, but this is Cozy Cardigan. Oh my gosh, I love Cozy Cardigan so much. This, the scent notes on this are, or what the scentsy description I should say, find embedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. This scent is gorgeous. It will never not be in my club. Never, never, never. It is so gorgeous. I love this so much. So I would like to melt that in the bedroom. This is hibiscus water and it was part of the summer collection last year. The description is apple and hibiscus frolic in a mellow mineral water spring. This is really pretty. It's a light floral scent and that's why I thought it would be really nice in the bedroom. And I have, this is also in my club and I would like to work through some of the bars that I have. The next one I brought in is my hero and I was actually surprised. Hi Ziggy. Sure. Come right in. I was a little surprised that this actually made it to the spring summer catalog. I mean, I think that these types of scents have their place and I do like this. I think, you know, like I said, they, they have their place, but I just, I never heard anybody talking about it. And that's why I was a little surprised that it's in the spring summer catalog. So this is my hero, cool citrus and white birch, ride a current of crisp air. It's very nice. I like it. I mean, I do like it. I, it. Again, it's not something that I would add to my club. I think this is part of the, was this part of the Father's Day collection from last year? Am I making that up? Yeah, so this was part of the Father's Day collection from last year. I was right. And yeah, so I, I do I do like that. This is a bring back my bar that I've had in my club for a very long time. This is Maui Mist and it, the, the description from Scentsy is creamy bouquet of rose, lilac, wood, and musk drizzled over creamy vanilla. This is really nice. I mean, I obviously I like it. It's been in my club for a long time and I've tried so many times to take it out of my club, but then every time I smell it, I'm like, no, I, I, I can't, I can't. It's interesting though, because it, I smell it, I'm like, it's powdery, but then I melt it and I'm like, I like that. I don't know, maybe if I melt it this time, I'll be like, no, I don't like that. Okay, a couple of, we've got three uh, Destination Wax Clams, and this is one I just threw in, Destination Wax, this is not Destination Wax, this is the Bathing Garden. Uh, I threw this one in because I knew that it would be really pretty. When I was going through my, the bathing garden bin, I was pulling some other bars and I was like, oh, this would be beautiful. Cause the first time I smelled this, I like freaked out. And when I went back onto her website and placed another order, she had a large clamshell of this. And so I placed an order for a large clamshell. So I have this small one and then I have a large one. So I'm like, I well, might as well use this one up. The description of this is patchouli and wood notes blend with vanilla, jasmine, and hints of citrus. And this is, oh my God, stunning. If you are a, I mean, first off, look at this. I mean, like I said, her wax bars are gorgeous. If you like patchouli, this is just stunning. Stunning. I do have, I did place an order. She has her like, I think it's Valentine's Day collection that she just launched and I placed an order. So it's on its way. Well, I don't know if it's on its way to me, but 
I did place an order for it for a bunch of stuff that she has that she had up. This is Deadly Gardens and the scent notes are Tonka beans, sparkling rose, jasmine with notes of orange, citrus, and vetiver. And this is what this gorgeous wax looks like. I mean, are you joking? Look at these like little flowers in here. Ugh. Freaking kidding me. And then the last one is Ghost Blossom. This is gorgeous. White rose, orchid, jasmine, and freesia sprinkled with the tiniest hints of patchouli. This is a soft and sweet ethereal floral blend. And she is so, like, that's spot on. It is a beautiful blend. Yeah, I mean, this is just so pretty. Like, her bars are just pretty to look at. The next thing I have is, I think I, this is the only one from L3 that I have in the bedroom. And this is Luna, this is Luna. Soothing lavender, let them eat cake and warm vanilla sugar. And then from Vintage Cheek Scents, this is one of her film bars. And this is Feast of Feasts. And this is enjoy a nice lavender coconut milk bath as the queen of the feast with prudence. Ah, I love that. This is just a beautiful lavender scent. So I thought it'd be really nice in the bedroom. I actually have three from Destination Wax. So this is white, sorry. This is pristine white roses and rich dark patchouli. This is a very floral scent. And I had pulled this last year sometime to use in the bedroom. Yeah, the pour date was from June of last year. I think this is for my very first order from her. I never did anything with them. I never melted any of them. So I was like, I need to melt through some of these because look at these beautiful shapes. So yeah, I'd like to melt through some of those. And then two other things from her that she has these little lavender owls. Let me show you guys, these are so cute. And they're always in lavender scents. I mean, are you joking? Are you joking? How cute are these? <laughs> this one is in Lavender Lullaby, and this is a sweet blend of lavender, lilac, and mimosa flower. I wanted to get through that. And this is the, I only have one of these because I had never tried this particular lavender blend before. So I want to see how I like that. And this one, I've melted this particular blend many times. This is lavender pink sugar. Lavender and pink sugar blender. It is so good. So she has a, it's not just pink sugar. It's actually a blender that she creates. Oh my God, it's so good. This is from uh, Loveless Bath and Wax. And I have several things for her, but I haven't melted any of it yet. I usually like to give the wax I purchase a few months to cure. And this is in rose colored glasses. And this is this beautiful, you know, rose tart shade. The scent notes for this are rose jam, vanilla, apricot, rice flour, and shea. So I'd be interested, interested to see how well her wax performs. And in my bedroom, I actually have two hot plate warmers. The rest of my house right now is kind of all scentsy warmers. I do change my warmers out quite a bit, but I have a hot plate warmer in my study. And then I think everything else is scentsy warmers right now. This is, a, a, to me, a bit of a harder wax. So... I think it'll do better in the bedroom. And then I do have two lobes that I pulled for the bedroom. The first one is from Vintage Cheek Scents. And this is Deep Slumber Pink Sugar Blended with Lavender, Vanilla, and Honey. And the other one that I pulled is from Hayden Row. And this one is in Comfort. And this is lavender french vanilla coconut milk and musk and this one smells so good it was so funny when i was pulling my wax for my melting basket i was like there's a lot of purple wax which is very interesting i pulled a lot of purple wax. purple is my favorite color so it makes sense so those are the bedroom melt okay i don't have as much pulled for the bathroom because there's only one warmer in there i do have two separate baskets one for my bathroom and then one for the guest bathroom so for my bathroom 
bathroom. The first one I pulled is this uh, Scentsy Bar and Cloudberry Dreams. This is Sweet Raspberry and a Whisper of Rose Soar Through Billowy Bursts of Peach and Vanilla. So this was a scent that was new to the fall catalog, fall winter catalog this year. And I thought it was gonna be a scent that I would be obsessed with. And I was surprised that I wasn't. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna try it in the bathroom to see if it wows me there. I'm wondering if it needs a smaller space than like a large living area. So I'm gonna try it in the bathroom. So that's the only Scentsy bar I have for the bathroom. I do have this teeny tiny <laughs> little scent shot cup from That Smell Good Shop. And this is an Egy Egyptian amber, amber light florals, earthy notes. This is, things like this are perfect to use in the bathroom since I have just that, you know, one warmer in that, in that space. And then I pulled from Ava's Country Cupboard Celestial Seas. This is one of her boho tart bars. This is salty ozonic sea spray, sea moss, driftwood, and sand, followed by crisp notes of soft violet, jasmine, and lily rose. Here we have Himalayan pink salt from Hayden Rowe. This is one of her souffle cups. Sheer cucumber, lavender, balsam, musk, and salty ocean breeze. The scent is really nice. I'm excited to try this in the bathroom. I have an Empire Alchemy. These are her waffle pears, and this is an opal and pearl. A sweet lavender and creamy coconut milk. This smells really good, and I think I had this identified for like either the laundry or the bedroom, but after smelling it again, I was like, I don't know if I want to save this for the laundry room, and I'm not sure if I like it for the bedroom either. Let me smell it again. Yeah, I just feel like that creamy coconut milk is not something that I want for the bedroom. I don't know. I may end up moving it out of the bathroom once I melt it if I don't like it in the bathroom. We'll see. So then I have this adorable little mini loaf from Blended with Love. She has changed her shop name to, I think, a Starlit Corner. Is that right? Yeah. The Starlet Corner. This is pampered and it's lavender, cashmere glow, a bit of shaving cream, and lilac breeze. So I thought this was perfect for the bathroom with that shaving cream. This is like the first order I placed from her where it was literally a, just a lavender, like lavender wax. It was all this wax with lavender in it. It was so beautiful. So, and then, I mean, are you kidding me? I do have a Rose Girls Mini Melter Bag and Avo Bath. Fresh and clean blend of lemongrass, lemon verbena, bergamot, and lavender. And this is inspired by Lush. This is really nice. I like this. It's very fresh. And then I have two clam shells from Teddy Bees. This is Carpe Diem. And this is raspberry, cranberry, iced champagne, sweet lavender, honeydew melons, and fizzy citrus. So I thought that would be nice in the bag. Bathroom. Last one I have here is Head in the Clouds, and this is White Clouds, Tiff's favorite lavender and pink sugar. And I love the way she decorates her clamshells. I mean, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Okay, so that's the first bathroom. That's my bathroom. Guys, you probably think my house is gigantic. It's not. The guest bathroom, I sometimes relegate like since I want to get kind of get through <laughs> to the guest bathroom, which is terrible. I sometimes just try to get through stuff, especially since like this <laughs> rainforest. I'm not even going to look for the notes for this. Um, well, this doesn't smell as bad as I remember. I just, I don't, not a fan. And I'll probably end up mixing this with something. It feels like a reinforced. Here's another one, which I have spoken of this bar and how much I do not like it. I only have four cubes left. Ugh, I'll mix this with something as well. I don't like this, but I need to use it up. Hopefully I can find something nice to mix it with that will make it, you know, tolerable. Now this one I am excited about trying. This is the NFL. Scentsy Bar. They partnered with the NFL. They did warmers for all of the NFL teams last last year. And then they came out with this Gridiron Rush bar as well. The description on this is supercharged citrus and crisp apples set the stage for game day on the gridiron while a dash of fresh cut grass and sleek sandalwood surge into the end zone. 
That's a cute description. So obviously, you know, Super Bowl's coming. I thought this would be a perfect time to melt this. And I do like the way that this smells. You know, it actually smells pretty nice, but I don't know what it what it does warming. Other than Scentsy, I do have, I have one other bathing garden scent. This is Blushing Peony. This doesn't really have a strong scent. Yeah, it's very, oof, I just got uh, glitter all over my lip. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at this wax bar. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this beautiful rose. Anyway, let me um, pull up the scent notes. Gorgeous peach peonies blend with hints of red apple, rose, and jasmine. And this is inspired by the Joe Malone type. So I thought that maybe putting it in the bathroom in a small space would help this kind of smell because it smells very, very light. So that's why I put this in the bathroom. And then <clears throat> this poor Sassy Girl Aroma. I mean, it's all broken. Uh, Brittle Bar. This is in Sisters in Pink. Light and sweet florals. Wild berries blended with sweet vanilla, coconut, and hints of sandalwood. Bright citrus. Fruity blend of cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel, and raspberry jam on a dry down of musks. So that is a mouthful. All to say, I don't think this smells very strong. So again, it's another reason why I put it in the bathroom. Hoping that it would, with that small space, that I could actually see smell it. Another one that is kind of light in terms of smell is this pinwheel from Nene's Kitchen Melts in black, amber, and lavender. And I mean, black, amber, and lavender is pretty much the scent notes. So this was light. I mean, I typically like both of those things and gosh, I can get it open. And it doesn't, it even has a funky smell. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see when I melt this. I have, I have another little, I don't even see this guy. This is another, this is in the guest bathroom. The other one was in the main bathroom, but this is in patchouli rain, earthy patchouli and fresh rain. And then I have a couple of bunt cakes from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is an evening star, lavender, water lily, and sea mist. So um, I don't know if I'll get through two of those. I'll probably just chop one up and see how much I get through on this one. The last one for the spare bathroom is from uh, Hayden Rowe Ladarius. And I love the name. Scent notes for this are Dracar Noir Masculine Clone Type featuring notes of lavender, spice, citrus, and warm cedar wood. So I thought this would be good for the spare bathroom. So those are my spare bathroom melts. So the next thing I'm going to do is laundry room, which I just have a few things for, and then we'll do kitchen. So I haven't pulled any like new things for the laundry room in a long time. So I thought that I would pull a few things just to have um, because I have been kind of melting the same things in the laundry room for quite some time. The first thing I have is this rainbow melts little, actually it's a, it's a skull in Febreze and this is apple, plumeria, lavender, Hawaiian, ginger, hibiscus, orchid, and rose. From Teddy Bees, I have Blankets by the Bonfire, Fresh Linen, White Tea, Bergamot, Lavender, and Bonfire Bliss. And the Bonfire Bliss in this does not seem very heavy, so I thought this would be a good one to add. This is Blended with Love, again, changed to the Starlight Corner, Dreaming of Spring, Summer Linen, Raindrops, Lavender, and Spring Apricot. This is really nice. This is a cute little cupcake. She makes the really cute shapes. And then I have two brittle bars from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Laundry Today or Naked Tomorrow. I remember whenever I got this, it was so strong. And then another one from Sassy Girl Aroma is Grandma Rosie Puff, Sweet Lavender, Island Fresh Gain, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So these are very similar. Only difference is this one has pink sugar and this one does not. Okay, so those are the laundry room scents that I added. So we'll see how much I can actually get through. And then let's go through my bakery bin, which there's not a ton here. Well, there's some. Again, bakery is not my, my thing really, but I do have some bakery things. And I figured if I have bakery wax, I should melt it. 
<laughs> I should melt this bakery wax. And come summer, summer, I will be probably more inclined to melt fruity stuff, like fruit, fruit. Like that's the, that's kind of my go-to when it comes to kitchen blends. But in the fall, winter, and this time of year, I can really go with the bakeries that I like. So the one Scentsy bar that I pulled in for bakery is Sweet Plum Pastry. Lisa Roberry and Mr. Kong's mom rave about this and I added it to my club and I want to try it. <laughs> on sniff, cold sniff, it's really nice. Yes, I really like it on cold sniff. Love it on cold sniff. It's not, to me, it does not have that really strong pastry note, like bready note. It's, it's mostly plummy, fruity to me. So, and that's why I probably like it, but I want to melt this. And then some super tarts that I pulled. I remember she had a pre-order and I ordered a bunch of stuff from her pre-order that was bakery. I was like, what am I doing ordering bakery? <laughs> anyway, so this is Anna sugar cookies and marshmallow. And then I have us, which is cake batter, caramel, toffee, cinnamon, and vanilla bean. And that cinnamon, if I remember correctly, is not very strong in this. Yeah, it's very, very, very light. And this is really pretty. And then this blew me away. Bakery shop, lemon meringue, and blackberry cream. Like I am kind of obsessed with this, even though I've never melted it. But on cold sniff, it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to melt this. Love, love. Hopefully it's as good melted as it is on cold sniff. From uh, Vintage Cheek Scents, this is, um, yeah, right. Vintage Cheek Scents, I said that right. <laughs> Grandma's Pearls. This is Lavender Vanilla Marshmallows. So I do love her Jackie O um, scent that comes in these little um, rose shapes as well. So I pulled this guy in. From Teddy B's, I have a couple of things. I have another one of her, well actually this is a birthday cake one. This is Sugar Berry Birthday Cake. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Bath and Body Works type. Uh, blueberry, Sugar, Bath and Body Works type, and Birthday Cake. So Again, look at how pretty these little clams are. Look at how pretty that wax is. Mm. Her clams are gigantic too. Like these, I love her clams. And then I do have this souffle cup in Tiff's favorite birthday cake and strawberry pound cake as well. And this smells really, really good. Another souffle cup. And I don't know if this is going to work well in the kitchen, but I'm going to try it. This is from Hayden Rowe and it is rose jam. And the scent notes are citrus, Turkish rose, geranium, and lemon in a sweet floral blend. I don't know if I'm going to like this in the kitchen, but I thought I would give it a shot to see. And if it doesn't work in the kitchen, I'll, I'll probably try it somewhere else. It may work in the bedroom or the bathroom as well because of the citrus notes and the floral notes. So we'll see. So a couple of bars from Closet Full of Wax. So this is Sansa Stark. I mean, I love their, some of their names, I'm telling you, they're hilarious. Okay, so this is Sansa Stark. This is not a funny one, but they have some that are really funny. Santa Stark is Pink Sands, Vanilla Lace, and Strawberry Shortcake. And so I thought I, was, I have a lot of strawberry blends in here for the bet for the kitchen. And then Spilt Milk is Milk, Sugar, Kisses, Marshmallow, Fluff, and Vanilla Ice Cream. So that bar is really pretty. I have a couple of sample, like, I think these were part of sample packs from Rose Girls. So they're not like sample samples, but they were part of like sample packs. So this was part of the holiday one, the, Mar the Mario Melter one. This is Grandma Got Run Over by a chain chomp which is the funny one of the funniest names i have ever read it's so funny grandma got run over by a chain chomp 
blackberry jam, butter cookies, cotton candy frosting, and waffle cone. And I remember whenever I smelled this, I was like, oh, I kind of like that. Which, you know, again, I don't like the green, but that smelled really good. So I want to give that a shot. She does like Mario Melter pre-orders maybe once or twice a year. So I want to try some of these out because I want to be prepared for the next time she does a pre-order. I think this was part of her fruity sampler, maybe? Lemon poppy seed cake. So I want to try this one out. All right, a another, I have another Sassy Girl Aroma Brittle Bar here. This is Be Quirky. Beach Night Sandalwood Sugar Cookies and Birthday. So I think this is a really good one. Okay, we are probably all kinds of out of whack because I just severely knocked over my camera. So sorry. Pink Moon Milk. And this is from Empire Alchemy Wax. And this is crushed raspberry, rose petals, vanilla bean, milk sugar, toasted pistachio cake. If I remember correctly, that toasted pistachio cake really comes out in this. Yeah, and it's not this, what I love about this blend is that pistachio is not a cherry pistachio. I freaking hate, do not like, I should not use the word hate. I do not like pistachio blends that have that cherry note. This is a true pistachio blend. It's not cherry. I really like this. And then the very last thing. So this is a glitterati chunk in beaver tails warm pastry filled with warm cinnamon sugar sweet almond and juicy raisins i remember liking somewhat liking this yeah that's not bad it'll be interesting to like having it melt to see if it's super super sweet like sickly sweet but yeah i, I, I didn't mind it that is <laughs> I know that's a lot of wax and every time I pull a melting basket I'm just like oh my god there's no way I'm gonna get through any of this but I end up getting through a lot to be honest like I get through a lot of wax please let me know if you have any questions about any of this wax or if you have any questions about Scentsy let me know I can continue to do this style of melting basket I can also flip the camera around and show my face I'd be happy to do that too. I just figured this would be an easy way to like actually show the, the stuff like right up to you instead of showing you my mug because you see that all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.